to over the chase qualifier next then. And it's two more seven again. The top one is Akane Byrne, Martin Lidham, Cape Solitude, Darren Thompson, Run for Free, John Morgan, Zoff, Stu Gray, Armageddon, Martin Lidham, Xenophon, Croy, James Shea, James Bond, David Hooley, and Romantic Liaison, Obi-Wan. Just eight in this. Recording and ready to go. And off they go. With Cape Solitude in the white sleeves, just about the first to show as a short run to the first. And over at the all go once again. And this one will be running round and round without going up a straight until the end as they get to the second. And Cape Solitude. They're settling down in the lead, but the pace is pretty slow as they get to the third. And there's a fall on there. James Bond's gone. So 007 is double out. And that one's gone then. So Cape Solitude in the lead. From Xenophon Croy in second. And then run for free. And that came burn and then Zoff, the romantic liaison, and finally Armageddon. So, James Bond didn't fall Armageddon, wouldn't foil Armageddon this week. And he didn't get any romantic liaisons either. But it's Cape Solitude in the lead. From run for free second. Akane Burn is third. And Xenophon Croy. And by that famous Italian goalkeeper Dino Zoff. Oh, I'm pretty sure that must be who Stu Gray's named that after. After is a big football fan, is Stu. Oh, there's another faller there. Xenophon Croy's gone, so two down. There's six left. And that probably means only two will fail to qualify at this point. No, my luck this week, they'll probably be my two as they get over the next. <laughs> it's Cape Solitude in the lead. There's a run for free second. Akane Byrne is third. Romantic Liaison fourth. Zoff is fifth. And Armageddon is just a back marker of the six remaining as they go inside the final couple of miles with Cape Solitude. Bowling along in the lead. On the John Morgan horse run for free second. And Arcane Burn is third. Romantic liaison four as they take the water. And Zoff was over that one next. Again, in between the two loose horses at the back, and all safely over fence number seven. And still an awful long way to go as they get to number eight. Oh my goodness, just finding the pace a little bit hot at the back. And to number nine now. With Cape Solitude in front. Run for free second, Akane Burn third. Akane Burn back from last season. Then Zoff. And Romantic Liaison and finally Armageddon. At the back. Cape Solitude is there, who leads. Well, a good five minutes still. Akane Burn's moved through in a second. Run for free is third, Zoff is fourth, Romantic Liaison is fifth, and Armageddon is sixth. And that's your order at this point. So let's pass the straight again, and on towards the next. This is number ten, and they're all safely over that one. Here's Cape Solitude's lead. About two lengths now, a little bit more, two and a half. Arcane Burn second, as they get to that ditch. Which they all went over nicely. Armageddon has jumped passes off. There it is. Now the back marker has been switched to the outside. Probably not going to stay the back marker too long the way it's going. As they make their way to the 11th, then next, and it's Cape or the 12th next. Four more fences to take. Which is probably about another circuit. But it's Cape <laughs> Solitude in the lead from Akane Burn second. Gap back to run for free and Armageddon is running on nicely. Then Romantic Liaison and Zoff as they get over the water. And there's just three more to take now and they pass that bottom end shoot 
for the last time and it's Cape Solitude in the lead from Arcane Burn second, Armageddon and run for three, third and fourth, then a gap to Romantic Leos and a gap back to Zoffers, oh and the leader Cape Solitude made a real mistake there and that's allowed Arcane Burn to cut round the outside, they've only got one more fence to take but they've still got four furlongs to race and that's the final fence and now all of a sudden it's run for free who's starting to run for free and run for free is running for home, run for free on the outside of Cape Solitude, Arcane Burn and Armageddon the next gap back to Romantic Liaison, these four look like they're going to be in a four to qualify but who's going to win the race, it's Cape Solitude in the lead, run for free is second gap back to Arcane Burn and Armageddon they were plugging on, they don't seem to have the pace of the leading pair, but it's Cape Solitude who's seen off run for free at the moment run for free is trying to battle back, Arcane Burn is trying to run on, but it's Cape Solitude who's in the lead, still got a furlong and a half to go though, it's Cape Solitude in the lead for most of the way headed briefly by run for free but now back in front and he's in the lead racing past the furlong pole it's Cape Solitude who's well clear none of them are making any sort of impression on him at all and Cape Solitude racing up towards the oh no now one for free starts to lunge on the outside are we going to get another stealer we are another stealer that's about a third this week that's stolen a race on the line and run for free gets up and takes it and Cape Solitude led everywhere just about except on the post and run for free wins it Cape Solitude second and then my pair third and fourth get back to Romantic Liaison and finally is off so run for free for John Morgan is the winner Cape Solitude for Darren Thompson had done to him what he did to Paul Rhodes earlier in second place and then third Akane Burn fourth Armageddon and fifth was Romantic Liaison for Obi-Wan